and welcome back to Redirecting. Apparently, some people are starting to feel quite guilty about making money off of slavery or helping to promote others who are making money off of slavery. Now, it's not that they're directly making money off of slavery, but I'm going to get into just a little bit of this article to uh, show you what I mean. There's an article on Atlanta Black Star, and it talks about romanticizing slave plantations as wedding venues is soon to be much harder as top planning sites act to remove listings. Experiencing a wedding with the southern backdrop of an antebellum era, era styled plantation could soon become a thing of the past or at least much more difficult. Leading wedding planning sites like The Knot Worldwide, Pinterest, Brides.com, Martha Stewart, and Zola have either removed the option of hosting a wedding or an event at former slave plantations are, or are in the process of reevaluating such venue options. Now, I must admit, um, when I was coming up, um, not knowing much about um, the plantations and things of that nature or not really paying much attention to it, I loved the style of those homes and how the land looked and all of that kind of stuff. But Color of Change, they basically said that it's not fair to black women who come to this site. And you see these sites are glorifying uh, plantations as some type of nostalgic site of celebration. And that shows a lack of compassion for black women or people who are just as minded. And so there has been... Uh, a change of mind for some people. But, you know, me coming up, I, I looked at those homes and I thought they were just beautiful, okay? Um, although they might be beautiful, when you look at the history of what happened on those plantations, when you grow older, you see, when you're a child, you're like, oh, that's a big, pretty house, right? <laughs> but when you are older and you understand what happened to your people on these, sla these plantations, uh, these slave quarters, you see, or these uh, places where slave quarters were uh, planted in the back, you know, then you understand that this is not a good idea. Now, the mindset of the people who kept uh, these properties and decided, you know what, since we can't have slaves anymore, we're just going to go ahead and uh, rent the place out, lease it out for weddings and events and all of this kind of stuff, right? And so when you do that sort of thing, what eventually happens is, you are still making money off of slavery because that land that you owned and acquired or whatever, in many cases, it's still in the hands of family members, um, or should I say descendants of those slave owners, right? Now, I didn't say all cases, but in many cases, it is still in the hands of family because, um, as you all know, um, there are some black people who own uh, former slave plantations as well. Um, the former ambassador uh, to the AU, uh, she owns a slave plantation in Tennessee. I'm so grateful that this is happening though because, you know, many times our people, we go to these things, um, having weddings because we don't understand our own history. And so we are actually helping them to support um, their legacy of what they did to us. There is nothing that should be glorified about these places. If anything, I think they should serve as museums, maybe. The only events that I see that should take place on these plantations would be the families who own those properties. You and your family, you have your get-togethers, your family reunions, and all of that stuff. But as far as renting it out so others can come and have weddings and uh, do on, doing all this stuff, uh, I agree that they shouldn't be making money off of that. Um, I do agree, however, that they could use it as a museum where real history is being taught, where the truth is being told about what happened at these places. But see, there is a push, and I'm going to do a separate video about this. There is a push now to just make slavery seem like it wasn't so bad after all. And a lot of people are you know, none the wiser, these younger generations, they don't know the harshness of it, the harsh reality, because somebody is whiting out the truth. Okay, so I just wanted to share this with you. Tell me your thoughts in the comment section. 
Uh, do you think it's fair to the slave, uh, former slave plantation owners that they can no longer uh, be listed on these sites? Um, not saying that they can't continue to have wedding celebrations there, but uh, a lot of sites are pulling out. You can't list it here. Of course, I'm pretty sure there, there's going to be uh, some website they're going to say it's not fair to these people. That's, that's in the past. They put the past in the past or leave it there. And there are going to be those who are going to say, look, you can list it on our site. So they won't go out of business. But what are your thoughts on those who choose not to play the game anymore? Let me know in the comment section. And with that, I will say shalom. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel. And also comment, share, like, and subscribe.